Hey hockey goalie, Coach Garner here from HockeyTraining.com. In this video, I'm going to run you through an in-season goalie specific hockey workout. Look, I know there's a lot of goalies out there who are absolutely starving for goalie specific hockey training and I'm going to provide that for you today. A lot of goalies already know intuitively that they shouldn't be doing what the other players are doing. Just like a catcher wouldn't do a pitcher's workout and just like you don't train a quarterback the same way you train an O lineman, a goalie should absolutely not be training the exact same way as the forwards or defensemen. The conditioning is different, the speed is different, the strength qualities are different, the energy systems are different, the mobility requirements are different. The list goes on and on and on and on. Goalies know they should be doing goalie specific work. I'm going to show you how to get it done. To kick this goalie workout off, we are going to be doing jump back vertical jumps. I want you to perform three of these all back to back to back and then rest 60 seconds and repeat for five total rounds. Just like you see Kevin doing here, do a small hurdle hop backwards and then explode into a vertical jump as high as you can go. This really helps goalies remain explosive throughout the entire season. Explosive training or power-based training is the number one thing hockey athletes lose as the season goes on if they don't train it appropriately. I'm a very big fan of incorporating safe goalie-specific explosive movements into the program design throughout the entire in-season because you want to remain explosive all season long. You don't want to lose it one, two, three months into the season and end up going into the playoffs your worst self yet. I want the opposite of that. I want you to be more explosive by the time playoffs roll around. So do this exercise and do it as explosive as you possibly can. Once you finish the jump back vertical jumps, you're going to move right into a total body strength circuit. That's right. For the next five exercises in a row, you're going to train every muscle group in the body in a strength specific way to make sure that you remain strong throughout the entire in season. Goalies need to be strong. I can't emphasize that enough. Strength equals more force production. And when you train properly, you can turn that force production into velocity, meaning you're going to be more explosive. You're going to be faster. You're going to be stopping more pucks. I don't care if you have the best puck tracking in the world. If you're a slow goalie, you ain't making the save. So we got to focus on strength for that reason, but we also have to focus on strength because that is the number one thing that is going to keep you injury free this season. I know a ton of goalies who run into hip problems, hamstring problems, groin problems. Look, the explosive requirements and the mobility requirements for a goalie to perform at their absolute best potential it's tough. It's one of the toughest positions to be in, but strength is what's going to help keep you bulletproof all season long. This circuit begins with a dumbbell goblet squat. Here, I want you to perform it just like Kevin's doing right now. Five reps back to back with a good posture. You're going to break parallel on every rep and hold the dumbbell comfortably on the heels of your palms. Five reps all in a row, and then rest 30 to 60 seconds before moving on to the next exercise in the strength circuit, which is the barbell good morning. With this exercise and with every exercise in this circuit, you're going to be doing five reps. Make sure you keep a good posture here. Really hinge your hips backwards. I don't want you to bend your knees or just bend over at the waist. I want you to do a hip hinge here and allow your body and your glutes to move backwards as you slowly bring the bar down. This is going to activate the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back in a very effective way, which are all exercises that are important for a goalie to have nice and strong all season long. The first two exercises were a combination of a knee bend and then a hip extension, which leads us now to the upper body. I want you to do the classic flat dumbbell bench press here for five reps, nice and controlled tempo, and make sure with all of these exercises that you're using a full range of motion. 
Goalies need a lot of mobility, but just as importantly, they need to be strong throughout the full range of motion as well. It's not enough to just be flexible because if you can't produce force at that muscle length, then it's kind of useless to you in between the pipes. So make sure you're coming down, getting a good stretch, and then pressing back up in a good controlled tempo. Now that we've done some horizontal pressing, you're gonna match that with some horizontal pulling. This is the barbell pendle row. The pendle row is one of my all time favorites because it eliminates cheating. <laughs> you have to stay completely bent over just like you see Kevin here at a 90 degree angle. And every single rep comes to a dead stop. So you can't throw any English into this. You can't use your lower back or try and use momentum or any of that. You're gonna dead stop it every single rep and you're gonna bring it more to your chest, which is a little different than normal row, which usually ends up around your belly button or your waist. Bring this right up to your chest and make sure you're retracting your scapulas on every single rep. The last exercise in this goalie strength circuit is the elbow on knee external rotation. This is both a prehab exercise to make sure you don't get injured throughout the season, but it's also a performance-based exercise for goalies. That external rotation is the prime mover you're doing for a high glove save. We want to make sure you can produce a lot of force through that movement coordination pattern, but we want to make sure you're strong throughout that pattern as well so that you don't get any shoulder injuries or nagging shoulder pains throughout the season. Perform five reps per side of this exercise, doing a nice, slow, controlled tempo all the way down and all the way up. One rep should approximately take you about three seconds on the way down and then three seconds on the way back up. You will not need a lot of weight for this exercise. The rotator cuff muscles are not very strong, so start light and slowly work your way up. Once you've completed all five reps per side, I want you to rest for 120 seconds and then repeat every exercise in this strength circuit for four total rounds. This workout is kind of like a strength sandwich and power is the bread. We started it with jump back vertical jumps, which is a power based exercise. And then right in the middle, the meat was all strength based training, but we're going to finish it with another power based exercise. The difference here is the first power exercise in the vertical jump is vertical power based. Whereas this exercise is the half kneeling lateral hop, which as I'm sure you guessed is a lateral power power-based exercise. This is as goalie specific as it gets. I want you to do three sets of three per side here with one minute rest in between. And just look at the overall movement pattern here. That very much replicates going from one side of the net to the other. If we can repeat this, become faster at this, become more coordinated at this, become more explosive with this, and also become more conditioned with this so we don't get as tired out in the ice, that's only going to result in you getting more shutouts this season. Stay low, stay coordinated. Don't forget the arm drive that you see Kevin using here and execute this with all you got. Thanks for watching our hockey goalie workout. If you liked that video, smash the thumbs up button and also subscribe to our hockey training channel. And if you're interested in doing the proper training that it takes to start getting more shutouts, you've got to try out and check out the hockey training in-season goalie program. Click on the link in the comment section below and let's go.